you feel that um, you know maybe you uh, Dell is, is is having a little advantage on, on because of their model. Well, not based on the most recent market share numbers, I would say that their, their lack of an indirect presence is actually a, a problem for them. Look, we don't make the decision as to whether we go direct or indirect. We allow customers to do that. And our strategy is to enable that customer to make that decision. So it's not a what does HP want to do, it's how do we best service our customer needs. And, you know, a large portion of our enterprise business is direct. Right. Consumers not as big, but clearly one that we, we focus on and pay attention to. But no more so than, you know, the great partnerships we have with retailers around the world. And we have over 80,000 retail outlets with partners globally. Um, that's a huge piece of our business. And we think the ability for, for customers to, to shop where they want and buy where they want is a, is a strategic differentiator that not many people can offer. So you're looking at growing this consumer direct business? Well, we, we look at it from the perspective of growing the business broadly. And if consumers choose to interact with us directly, then, excuse me, then we're happy to do that. Um, but it's more driven from the consumer and the customer than it is from HP. Our, our focus is to make sure that we have capabilities for those customers to shop and buy from us where they want. By definition, this is a very efficient market and one that, that's seen year over year improvement in the value of product. I think there were multiple things that drove our results last quarter. One was component favorable component pricing. Uh, the other was an increased focus on attach, right? Our monitor business, as I said, is very strong. You know, our desktop business is growing nicely. Our, our notebook business is growing aggressively. So component pricing is, is one piece. And, you know, we tend to be aggressive in our pricing policies. Um, but conversely, you know, last year this time when component pricing was very high, we didn't pass those incremental costs on to customers. So we think this, we don't think, I know this, this, this last quarter is a, is a, um, is a result of very good product management, very good mix management, and uh, you know aggressive procurement on their part. We've, we've segmented the small and medium business market pretty aggressively. We look at micro business from one to ten okay. users, next segment from you know eleven to ninety nine, and up. So I think you have to look at each segment as to how you market to them. Clearly that one to 10 is gonna act very much like a consumer. They're probably gonna, gonna interact with us either on the internet, if, if that capability is available in your country or, or a retail store or a VAR. So we're very much focused on how we have the right products and the right financing in many cases for those customers. Because in many cases, it's not how much does the product cost, it's how much does it cost per month or how much does it cost per week. And we're working pretty aggressively with uh, different partners in, in well, around the world to understand how we can, can meet those requirements. Strategically, we're looking broadly at, um, at HP Total Care and what are the other services and, and, and capabilities we put in that offering to meet small business needs. Is there a need for a separate SMB brand like Dell with Vostro? Do you think that HP should have, you know? Well, I, think H I think the HP brand is a pretty strong brand. And I'm not sure that, uh, you know, a focus on branding beyond Compaq, HP, and Voodoo, you know, is, is necessary. What is necessary and what we're focused on are, are great products at great price points and a superior service solution. So, you know, branding's interesting, but right. we have pretty good brands. But to separate the, I would say, the consumer, the enterprise, and an and SMB. But, but I, I don't think that's the way consumers or enterprises shop. They don't shop by brands. They shop by segments and by need. And, I, and our focus is to understand the needs by those segments and make sure we have products, be it HP or Compact, in those, in those, those segments and have coverage in those segments. And our ability to service the, the micro business, the one to 10 seat business, be it on the website, through a partner, or through a retail store, 
I think is more important than having a brand. We think home storage will continue to become, well, it's, it's, a, it's a, a growing market for us in the world. Last year was the first time there was more consumer storage sold than commercial storage. You need a server. You know, now you're talking about putting terabytes of storage into the home. Right? And I think as people look at, at all the rich media that's available in the world today, high definition movies, you know, huge music files, 10 megapixel pictures, you know, that amount of storage will be consumed very quickly. And the ability to back up those pictures, back up that music, back up those things that are most important to you, we think is a, is a, is a key growth opportunity for us broadly in the world. I think the, the huge opportunity for Hewlett Packard is how we leverage the assets that we have. The sales coverage, the manufacturing coverage, the R&D investment, and really make these products meaningful, be it for a consumer, a small business, or a, or a major enterprise.